Hello. I'm gonna go look at a boat. Check that out. I picked a great day for it today. Um, of course, the only day it's rained in three months. But, um, you know, it is what it is. This is the Multnomah Channel of the Columbia River. This is the No Trespassing Dock. Um, but yeah, just a little little channel on the inside of Savi's Island. Home to houseboaters and geese. And other various muskrats and whatnot. And hopefully home to my new boat. There she is, out there. That one right there. An old, neglected Yorktown 35. And um, I'm somewhat afraid. Well, she's dirty. She's real dirty. Kind of a little bit of a weird angle on that. Strange ass bowsprit there. Uh, whoa, it's pretty wobbly. I don't know why you put the uh, anchor on the side that the windlass isn't, but I'm sure who knows. It's like we got some sort of a whisker pull or something up there. Um, well, yeah. This here's a beater and a half. Okay, we got a pair of uh, some kind of shirt and some Vaseline. <laughs> That's worrisome. And I'm um, assuming this indicates a porthole leak. Um, got some nice standing water over there. Uh, one would assume that there should be some sort of a drain there, but God help me, I'm reaching over there. Oh, this is wobbly. Oh, look at that. That'll help. Bet you the other side's about the same. All right. Well, the cockpit here is a disaster, um, but it's a nice, sort of nice. I don't know if you can really use that word center cockpit, there's the rear cabin. <sighs> it's like the main sheets up there. And um, it's got a sail. Whew. And I got some shore power, that's that's good. The rando gauges and whatnot. Surprisingly, compass isn't all broke and check out this wheel all right let's check out the uh, the cabin that's a nice spacious deck up there oh she stinks she stinks a lot smells smells like wet okay Gotta duck down to get in here. This is not not convenient at all. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Um. Right, first impression of this is holy shit. This is a. Uh, well, there's a lot of space. A lot of space. You got various lockers and whatnots. Um, <coughs> pretty damp. This is the galley. It looks like it got semi-ripped apart. Got a sink there and um, maybe a ice box. Looks like there was probably a stove there at one point. Now you, you got a nice little Origo stove which I'll probably sell 
that leads looks like into the front of the engine which is oh, that's a beast I don't know if you can see it it's a big big sucker <coughs> okay probably gonna get mold poisoning no nope. um, looks like all our power BS is over there <coughs> a lot of storage tons of storage little lockers and things um, some kind of upright lockers in here also <laughs> some space up there doubles as a, a dead animal trap and this is probably a mold trap no it's just a old moldy clothes situation gross <coughs> Stand up. That's plus. Really, it's pretty spacious here. Um, nice. Uh, well, I don't know if I would use the word nice. I mean, saying saying anything's nice here is using that term real loosely, but possibly functional. How about that? So as it sits, we got a bunk here. We could put a, another bunk on top of that bunk on this side here. <clears throat> And then uh, here's the scary place, way up here in this cave. Uh, now I don't see where that anchor chain's coming down, but I mean that's a pretty good sized V berth up there. Probably can't hardly see it. Um, we've got a a uh, head right here, and uh, and the light in here sucks. There's no toilet. And there's some wet on the ceiling, but that could just be condensational. Now this nav station, that this ought to be a walkthrough. I don't like this. This ought to be a walkthrough into the rear. Because you have no way of getting to the rear. Um, so this maybe would have to be dismantled. And the rear cabin. And this one's not as bad. Not as bad at all. <clears throat> not, not much room in here. <sighs> Plenty of spiders. Looks like enough room for maybe two people to sleep if they wanted to get cozy. And, man, just fighting the spider webs here. There's a toilet. As bad as this looks, it doesn't... I mean, it might not be that bad. Got some more engine access way back in there. This is gonna be one heck of a project. Um, a big project. Like a real big project. But, on the plus side, it might end up being a pretty cool boat when it's done. driving setup leaves something to be desired, although it's nice to be out of the rain. Yeah. 